I know more than my old man word he uses. Animal husbandry. Animal husbandry. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't he just say, I'm taming the animals? Why bring husbanding into it? What's in, what makes him think husbanding is the same thing as taming? Excuse me? <laughs> of course you're not tame. If you were tame, you'd still be in the garden instead of out here. I wish you were tame. It would make my job much easier. I don't think there's anything you could say to them to make it easier to deal with. It's not, not with me. It's those boys of yours. They're not just mine. What? They came out of you. I saw it. Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> don't try to blame them on me. <laughs> What's to figure? What matters is how they got out. <laughs> See, he's a hunter, not a farmer. He hasn't had the opportunity to figure out that the both of you, well, you know, how that eventually leads to, uh, well, you know. <laughs> I thought you would. I do. You should. <laughs> Maybe you should take up bird watching or beekeeping. <laughs> and we can have a little talk. Yeah. Look, here's what I do know. Those boys are driving me crazy. Ken is all the time down at his end of the field, putting seeds in the ground, and damming up the Euphrates River to get water to them. I can't get any serious hunting out of him to save my soul. Too late for that. <laughs> Just realize, all this business about you having children is missing from Moses' account. He needs to update the thing. Moses, come to me! <laughs> <laughs> this is getting to be a real pain. I'm supposed to be taking the Nine Commandments down to the children of Israel. <laughs> By the way, are also getting to be a pain. <laughs> complaining, complaining, I mean. You'd think your freedom from bondage to the Pharaoh would be a little more appreciative. <laughs> this will only take a moment. I want you to get something in your book about Adam and Eve's two children. Oh, you got kids? Congratulations. <laughs> so, boy, girl, what do you got? Trouble and more trouble. That's what we've got. <laughs> Sorry to hear it. Lord, i got to get back. Every time I leave the tribes alone for ten minutes, they start screwing up. <laughs> Aaron said, look, 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 I'll take care of everything. I just want you to get some details down. You can fix up the language later. Now, one of them's name is Abel. He's a herdsman. The other one's name is Cain. Cain is a pain. Cain is a pain. Cain is a farmer, and I'll bet he doesn't know where he and his brother came from. We could just find him a nice girl, fix him a little home. Somebody mentioned a nice girl? Yes, so we're obviously not talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the father of humanity on the rampage about today? Oh, he's going on about his teenage sons again. <laughs> Boy, when I come up with a punishment, I do it right. <laughs> Angel of Death sure did the trick. Oh, he talked about letting my people go. After that little episode, it was goodbye, good riddance. Take whatever you want, and don't let the door hit you in the shrinks on the way out. <laughs> Look, here's what I do. Cain and Abel are absolutely <laughs> worthless, especially Cain. And Abel, all he's got are his animal husbands. Animal husbands. <laughs> whatever they're called. He's ruined the forest for hunting. All I've got, all the good meat is down in his corral. All I've got left are a few deer and some quail and things. And Cain, Cain is so proud and mean to his brother. It's just a phase. He'll get over it. He's not a bad boy. Oh, if only you two had let me teach you about morals. Then you'd be a lot better at knowing what are things are really good and then what things are really bad. But someone around here knows what's really bad. For instance, beans are definitely bad. And that is all the beans I can look at for one day. I'll put them on to boil. Adam, do you have anything I can cook with them? Haven't caught anything decent in weeks, huh? Look at this. Two prime rabbits caught fresh this morning. Is that all? They're awfully small. Well, I've got some hams that brought me yesterday. They'll make a good meal. We will not eat any of Abel's hams. I am master of this household, and I forbid it. You forbid it? You forbid it? Listen to me, Adam. Lucy's have told me all about how it was before I got here, how things started out on an even keel between a man and a woman. Now, 
I don't mind you your meals. Lord knows I don't. I do. <laughs> you are my husband, and I love providing for you. But don't pretend to tell me what I'll put on my table. Hand beats rabbits any day of the week, including the Sabbath. I'll run my home the way I see fit. I thought when you made her, you said she would always be agreeable with me. Oh, she will. As long as you agree with her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Moses. Let's you and I take a little walk and see if anything has evolved lately. Lord, couldn't we hurry? I've got to get these commandments back down to the chosen people. They're going to do something stupid. I know it. I want to add one. Well, go ahead. There's room. That'll make it even take. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Honor thy father and mother. <laughs> no sense of humor, eh? <laughs> I am nothing if not humorous. 